Now when you turn and think about immigration, another thing to ask is what percentage of the people who live here in the country today are immigrants? That is, they weren't born in the United States. Now that number is 14%. 14% of the immigrants living here, uh, of the people living here, were not born here. Is that a big or small number? Well, that number right after World War II got down to about 5, 6%. But if you look back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, again, that number was about 14%. Now, of the number of immigrants who live in the country, some of them, actually the large percentage of them, are already U.S. citizens. They've gone through the process, they're citizens of the country. You have a number of people, in addition to that, who are here full-time on permanent residency visas. They can stay and work in the United States as long as they would like. Third category that's interesting probably for us to, to think about is people who are here to work on a temporary basis. That's again a, a smaller number, that's several hundreds of thousands. And then you get refugees and a few other categories which are all important. That is the makeup of our immigrant, immigrant population. In addition, you have undocumented immigrants. That constitutes another 12 million people in the United States, about 4% of total population also built into that total 14% uh, total, uh, number. So now let's talk about the undocumented population, which is much in the news these days. The undocumented population in the United States has fluctuated over the last 10 plus years. Today it's 12 million, it's been as low as 10 million or so, but it's fluctuated up and down. I think popular opinion reading the newspaper would say we've had a huge surge in undocumented immigration. That is not the case. I think the other thing which people then debate is how does immigration policy as a whole change? Is it all about undocumented uh, immigrants or is it also about these people coming to our country for other reasons? That's kind of today's current makeup of our immigrant population, if you will. We've seen the change, we've seen the importance now of immigrants to population growth. That's important, because population growth helps drive GDP growth. A lot gets put in the newspaper about GDP growth. I mean, people want to talk about it. Here it comes, the GDP numbers. But GDP growth comes from change in the number of people, plus inflation, plus productivity growth. But if you want to drive GDP growth, you need population growth, and people can have various opinions on immigration, but these numbers are important since we see that half of the population growth is now coming from, from immigration. That's a quick look at the immigration numbers. For more, go to geekwire.com backslash numbersgeek and subscribe to the Numbers Geek podcast. For detailed numbers, go visit usafacts.org uh, with much more uh, detailed information about immigration, the change in immigration population and policy over the years.